All right, we're going to go through another little lesson on inserting footnotes, and uh, we're going to use the add-on tool for uh, EasyBib.com. In addition to our uh, inserting footnotes, and we're also going to add a bibliography uh, to, our, to our research paper. All right, so the first thing we need to do is title our research paper. Whoever we are researching, we're going to title it Research, and I'm going to research Ray Charles. And one thing you always put in here so I can grade this thing is put in a header. And I like to go to the right hand side so I can type your name. Okay, obviously you're putting your name there. And here comes the beginning of my research, Ray Charles. Now I don't want you to change the font size or anything like that right now, okay? Just keep everything the same and uh, we can reformat later. So Ray Charles is my topic. Uh, I've given you the categories. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is a childhood experience. Now most of you have uh, gotten your childhood experience from a book and that's what you're going to use for this. Now I'm using this website. Um, it's a really good website. I'll show it to you. It's got probably everybody that you're researching and I'm going to uh, use this particular childhood experience right here. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it on my paper. Alright, so I think we read this earlier in class and I am going to uh, make sure that I don't plagiarize. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a footnote. There it is. And see how the one is always after the passage that I use. Okay, that's very important. Okay, now I'm going to use the add-on that we installed uh, with EasyBib. Okay, everybody should have this. If you don't, then raise your hand and I will help you get it on. And it is EasyBib straight on your document, which saves a lot of time. Okay, so we're going to use the same process here. Now it gives you these uh, tabs you need to click on. Right now it's set on book, but I got mine from a website. So I'm going to click on website and I'm going to go back to the uh, website that I used. And this is the address that I'm going to copy. Okay, and there's two things I can do with that address. First of all, I'm going to, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to paste it here. Okay, and then search. Okay, and this tells me the information that I need. So this is a credible source, and I'm going to select it. Alright, now, you see all of this uh, busy work here. Now I want to go to the date, and that's where I start I'm going to copy just a date. Right below that is the web page itself. It's a link, but I don't want to use that link right now because I want just a citation. That is the citation for the website. Did I copy that? Let's see if I copy. And then I'm going to put just the citation. Okay. And you can see where it, the citation ends on the date. And I'm doing this this morning. So there it is. Now, after I have created the footnote here, okay, I can do one more thing. I'm going to click on this on this uh, tab here called Add Bibliography to Doc. And when I do that, this is going to show up at the end of my paper, okay? So every time I click on this tab here, it's going to show up underneath here and at the end of my paper. We're going to uh, reformat this whole uh, works cited passage here. Now this what this is actually this is your bibliography okay and this is all of the sources that you use in your paper okay so really the bibliography is called several different things uh, further research um, you can because you can get information you know more information from these sources if you wanted to okay so we're just going to call it our bibliography because that's what it is 
okay so always make sure that you are keeping that below your work that you're uh, using for your research paper okay because this is something we're going to have to reformat all right now we're going to get more information and continue from there follow the steps okay so here are the steps step one copy and paste or type in the quote from your source because if you when you got that information from your book you're just going to type it into the document uh, step two you're going to insert a footnote after the passage step three you're going to use the easy bib add-on step four you're going to um, copy and paste the URL address into the easy bib add-on and if you have you use the passage from the book you're going to type in the ISBN number click select for step 5 then you're going to copy and paste uh, the citation onto the footnote at the bottom of the page and step 7 you're going to add the bibliography to doc every time you do that and it's going to um, make your bibliography the last page of your research paper okay so and you should have at least two citations from two different books okay we talked about that you should have two citations from two different websites and then we're also going to create a citation from an encyclopedia or a magazine okay all right good luck i hope this has been helpful